so welcome back to the cop kitchen thanks for coming back or you guys didn't stay here all night did you nice snowy Thanksgiving day thought I'd put one more recipe together quick recipe uh, if you've looked at my and watched my introduction video which I'll post a link down in the description if you haven't seen it uh, not only have I been a police officer for 25 years I've also been a DARE officer for 21 of those years and I'm doing six schools right now most of the schools will let me bring some snacks in for the students however some won't because of the nut allergies but those ones that do uh, I do make a a few different types of snacks and this is one of them it's called the pretzel caramel bites or caramel pretzel bites whatever you want I usually make uh, 35 to 70 depending on the size of the class today I'm going to be making 35 so let's get started so the ingredients are two what you need is pretzels you're gonna need in this case if you're gonna do the whole 35 and make them pretzel on pretzel you'll need uh, if my dare students are watching 35 plus 35 that's right they'll be 70 so what I do with these is I have a cookie sheet and I line it with aluminum foil and then I just line these pretzels up I do five across and then I do seven down again my dear students five across seven down how many is that correct five times seven thirty five very good and because of the magic of editing let's get it done and done so the next part is the caramel part and it is Rolos. Unwrap each one of them. I've got, you guessed it, 35 here. So again, unwrap all 35. But again, because of magic of editing, let's get it done. So after you've peeled all the Rolos, I put them on one at a time. I unwrap all of them at once. It's quicker that way. And then you just put one Rolo on each one of the pretzels. And while you're doing this, you could go ahead and preheat your oven to 250 degrees. So we'll go ahead and top all the pretzels now. There they are. I forgot to mention that the pretzels I'm using are Snyder's mini pretzels. They seem to be a little thicker and crunchier than some of the other ones, but any mini pretzels should work fine. Uh, just be careful when you're topping with whatever you're gonna to top it with, that you don't press down too hard and break the pretzel. So now it's in the oven at 250 degrees for five minutes. And then we'll top them. Time's up. This is where you have to be a tad bit quick putting the tops on. All the rollos are soft now and you just start putting the tops on now I'm using pretzel on pretzel for half of these and then on the other half I'm going to be putting on some candied pecans made by a friend who has a home in New Mexico with pecan trees so she makes these candied pecans 
which are great toppings for here. But remember, if you're a DARE officer taking them into the school, make sure there's no nut allergy warnings there and restrictions. So we'll start with the pretzels first. And we'll do the rest with the peacocks. And there you go. You can also use almonds or not only the pecans, but maybe even walnuts. So get creative, whatever you want to put on for the topping. Now, after I top them all, because I'm always in a hurry, it seems like, I stick the pan in the refrigerator, eh, 15 to 20 minutes. And after that, then I'll put them in a, a container. Uh, and sometimes when, when I take them to schools, I'll just put them in those mini uh, Ziploc bags. I uh, put two or three in each one of them for the, for the kids. So I'll go ahead and put these in the refrigerator for a little while, then we'll come back and we'll put them in a container. So I just took them out of the refrigerator. Uh, they've been in there for about 15 minutes. And just so the chocolate will get uh, solid. And then you just take them uh, off the aluminum foil and put them into a airtight container. And this one, I just lined it with a paper towel. You can put them in Ziploc storage bags. Like I said, if you're gonna take them to, I take them to church functions and that. Uh, you can take them uh, to other functions in a Ziploc bag. They'll be fine. They peel right off, throw them in here, and then put them back in the refrigerator. You're not gonna take them somewhere um, immediately. And there you go. Put the cover back on, put them back in the refrigerator, and yummy. So that was a quick snack for the kids, for the grown-ups. Thanks for coming back to the Cop Kitchen and visiting. I hope you come back again. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button and leave a comment in the comment section and I'll get back to you. Until next time, be safe out there. I'm 10-7. Whoa.